Zach and Karen reunite again at the salon with Fatima watching on. Hayden and Tamara are married. And Sabrina and Maurice go to a lawyer so that they can go ahead and be discharged. What's good, y'all? It's your good sister Erica Vane coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. And in this video, I am breaking down the trailer and teaser for season six, episode number six of Tyler Perry Sisters. If you are not new here, welcome back, boo. You know how we do. But if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and conversations. We go into depth, we give it to you real rap raw and if i do say so myself it's some of the best sisters commentary on this good here rihanna's internet so welcome get comfortable let's go ahead and talk about it because we are at a very contentious point in the sisters universe timeline specifically when it comes to the love triangle slash quadruple that is zach karen fatima and a little asterisk on aaron and i'm gonna go ahead and start there with my breakdown so in the teaser, we get to see Zach wake up and he calls for Tima and she probably like lets it go to voicemail or ignores it. And he's leaving a message. He's talking about you only made up half the bed. Sir, you was in the bed still. How the hell was she supposed to make up the whole bed if your ass was still in the bed? Like Zachary, let's be for real real quick because I can't. Now, this is probably the most lighthearted part i can give y'all because this is a lot the whole zach karen and fatima of it all is a hell of a lot it makes for phenomenal television but the shit is stressful i'm not even gonna hold y'all we also get to see karen go and meet with andy at the penthouse and she's talking about how, you see how he looked at me and he came for me and in the trailer she's talking about or andy responds like we have already closed that book we've moved on so it's clear what andy's position is in the teaser we don't get to see andy respond we just get to see like her face which again confirms that so andy is clearly of the impression of like girl we're not going back down this road that's fatima's man her man her man her man leave it alone we had already got through this you have made some really great strides and moves we're not going back down this road but it's clear that Karen wants to go back down this damn road. And I don't necessarily know if I want to go want her to go back down there either until I saw the moment where they actually at the salon. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Like I spoke about this on our sister's heaper, which is a video podcast that we do with is a live after show um after every Tyler Perry episode. So you can literally check in with me and my good sis Allie Nick on my channel where we after every episode uh 7 30 pacific standard time um 10 30 eastern we go live and we break down the episode and really talk about all of the themes all of the storylines everything that actually went down and we just have a really great dialogue and are able to discuss the episode we talked about this on this week's episode of our sister's keeper in that i get it like i get Karen going to this place I get the feelings of nostalgia that she's experiencing I get how she's wanted Zach to treat her this way this entire time and he did I get having a near, near death experience and that also shifting things for you I think that she got further confirmation that Zach is actually the father so then that also is another layer added on in reference to like wanting them to work out however this is just so messy he is engaged he is in a whole other relationship and if Zarin is supposed to be a thing cool but I don't think it needs to be a thing this way now I will say this when you are going through the um the trailer and the teaser we get to see Aaron is already at the salon um with Pam and Karen when Zach pulls up um and we don't really get further context in the actual teaser but in the trailer we get to see um it looked like Karen and Zach are about to kiss but I feel like it's another like kiss on the cheek I think that they have a conversation I think that they might be very, very honest with one another about how they feel. But I am praying that this goes the way of like 
we will always have love for each other. We will always be there for one another. Zach is going to still help you with this damn salon. However, we made the right decision to not be together. And this is another like kiss on the cheek of like, okay, we just going, we really going to be cool this time. No more steam plant acting a monkey fool, throwing pictures up in my face. Unfortunately, when this is going down, Fatima standing in the parking lot and she is watching all of this go down and she looks mad as hell with whatever little papers in her hand. Like, are these papers that you want Karen to sign? Because Karen already told y'all asses that she wasn't signing these papers after Zach tried to snatch her up and then beat Aaron's ass all up and through steam plant. So, Fatima, one, why we got papers in our hand? Two, why are we standing here watching this? Like, at this point... I don't think that Fatima deserves what's going down and I get all of the feelings of anger and frustration that comes from it, disappointment that comes from it, but also some of that she's bringing on her damn self. Why aren't you at work? Why aren't you at work? And if you want to break up with Zach, then break up with Zach. If you want to work it out with Zach, then work it out with Zach. Like give him a chance to speak to whatever the hell he's feeling, whatever the hell he's thinking and what's all going on and let that be that. Like this is not a sustainable relationship the way that Zach and Fatima have been moving. Like there has to be more trust. There has to be more understanding. And I have said this and I'm going to continue to say this. It is unfortunate that Zach has basically used up all his grace bucks, all of his uh, sympathy cards, all of his like, let me give you the benefit of the doubt bucks when it comes to Fatima with all the other little petty ass drama that he has had coming her way. This is a moment where I think that he needs as much grace as she could possibly muster. And I think that had she not had to deal with Deja and Heather and Belinda and his mama and his anger. All of these other things, when we arrived at Karen almost dying in the fire, she would have been able to hold it together a lot better and feel more secure in their relationship. But she's already been through the damn ringer, so we can't even really blame her for feeling the way. I just want her to stop putting herself in position to continue to see this play out and taking these gut punches like that. Like, girl, just go on about whatever you're doing. And even if you haven't figured out if you want to leave him or if you want to stay and, and you still trying to figure it out, do so out of sight like go back to your condo for a few days like focus on work do something else while he gets it together and figures out where he's at in this whole caringness of it all now what i will say is you know we do get scenes into cut where zach is actually at the law firm and um we get to see him talking to Andy and the teaser talking about he just wants to let, you know, Fatima know that he's going to go see Karen. This is before he actually goes over to the salon. Andy's talking about why in the hell would you do that? This is... <sighs> I was trying to stay off of Andy's ass, but her being a shitty friend to Karen is going to make me get back on it. So let me just... I just want to make that note. But it's like he's going out of his way to make sure that he keeps her in the loop even though she's ignoring him or whatever um so that tells me that there are some type of well intention that is some type of honesty that he's trying to have play out there is like not necessarily him trying to run back to karen all of a sudden out of nowhere because he's just so in love with her like it's complicated and sometimes it be like that I think it's interesting watching Andy and Fatima interact in the teaser. We get to see her start to take her ring off um, while talking to Andy. And um, she's telling in the trailer, she's talking about it's not going to be good. And I'm like, girl, what is not going to be good? You about to just lose it? Like at this point, if Fatima feel like she about to go ape sh and she about to just completely lose her mind and go absolutely bonkers or whatever. All y'all have been predicting because y'all said that if Zach leave for team, then she's going to be the crazy ex and she's going to wild out and she already warned him. So it's his fault. That means that she need to go ahead and break it off because girl, if you finna do all of that in your late thirties, this is not the relationship for you. And I want you to release yourself from the shackles of whatever the hell this bond is that you have cultivated with Zach over the course of six weeks that, that got you strung out like a, I'm going to leave it there. Now, going back to Andy real quick, you can go ahead and show up for Fatima because Fatima your friend too. But the way that she was telling Zach, why, why in the hell would you do that? Why would you do that? I feel like she is going down the road of not being a good friend to Karen and Andy Again, I have said this before, but I'm going to say it again. You need to mind your business and stay out of it completely if you cannot toe the line better than this. Because you, Andy clearly picks sides. And I'm not necessarily going to fault her for picking Fatima's side. 
But also, I got smoke for you because Karen, my girl. So, either get it together or get lost, Andy, because I can't. And your life is a hot damn mess as well. So, I don't even know why these girls even come to you, to be quite honest, because you are you are literally a hot mess. The last thing I want to say about Karen, because there's a scene in the trailer where um, Pam is pointing and then Karen turns to look behind her um, and Pam looks all surprised. I think that this is Karen seeing... Um, and Pam seeing Fatima see them like Zach probably sees them first and then I think that that's what it is I don't think it's any kind of surprise guest or anything like that now Outside of the Zach Karen Fatima ness of it all Which is the driving force for so much of the drama and the interesting storylines if I'm gonna be honest in Tyler Perry sisters We got Danny sleeping with Preston and now she regretted, girl, why? You love having sex, honey. So what are we talking about? She in the bathroom in the trailer talking about some, I did something stupid. Sleeping with Preston is not something to actually stupid, girl. You wanted to do it. You did it. Move the hell on. Unless it's something bigger than that. I don't care. Not interested. Uh, Sabrina and Maurice go to see a lawyer after Sabrina has to go to Maurice's house and basically drag him to come see a lawyer so that they can go and try to like fight for their job and to beat this case um, that has been stacked against them with this horrible ass uh, confession that Logan seems to be running with. I can't deal with that. And then other than that, we find out that Hayden actually married um, Tamara in Miami and he's telling Gary about it. And Gary's like, did you vet her? So now it's about to be a whole journey of like, he, well, they married now. And they, I mean, they still got time to annul it, but clearly Tamara meant it when she said she was going to get everything, honey, everything. So yeah, those are my thoughts and predictions, theories, if you will, for season six, episode number six, which will premiere next Wednesday. Again, Check in with us right after the episode as we go live with our Sisters Keeper to break down each of the episodes. Look out for my episode breakdowns as well as a couple of video essays that I have coming talking specifically about Fatima, Zach, and Karen in depth. I think that you guys are going to love those videos. I cannot wait to share. Be sure to hit that like button because you made it all the way to the end and I know that you liked it. If you haven't already, subscribe. And again, drop a comment and tell me what your theories, what your predictions are for next week's episode because this is a conversation that's going down in the comment section. I got the perfect video for you to watch next. Go ahead and click right here and I'll see you in the next one.